Today I'm riding on a track inspection vehicle for the first time and taking you on an exclusive tour of the vehicle and what exactly it does. I was invited to ride this train all the way from Clyde through to North Sydney via the Harbour Bridge before then heading to Everly Maintenance Centre and turning back around to go on the City Circle. These track inspection vehicles entered service back around in 2014, so 10 years ago. These trains since then have continually monitored the tracks across the entirety of the Sydney trains and New South Wales train link network for 10 years. And for those watching who still don't understand what I'm talking about, basically these trains stop this. After having to wake up at literally 6am in the morning, I made it to the train station to catch my service into the city to then head out towards Granville. In typical fashion, I completely forgot to take any photos or videos, so uh, here's just what Granville Station looks like if you don't know already, and uh, credit to the original owner of this image. After signing in and getting all of our PPE on, we then made it down to the shed where they store these vehicles. So here's a video just here, and here are a couple photos. After getting a quick safety briefing, we then jumped on the train to uh, head out of the little maintenance shed out towards Clyde Station on the now disused Platform 1. And in fact, we are actually currently still technically on the Carlingford line. As interestingly, this maintenance shed here is actually located on the uh, curve outside of Clyde for where the Carlingford line used to go. Of course, now the tracks are cut off just behind this train here. But um, yeah, we do use a portion of the Carlin for the line. We then head down to the sidings and along through Platform 1. You will also hear a couple of little radio communications between the driver and the Rail Operations Centre. Check out on the top right of the screen if you're interested in seeing my video on the Rail Operations Centre. So unfortunately I am not allowed to share um, the communication between the Rail Operations Centre and the driver. So basically what happened was um, you had to stop at this signal here um, and you needed to proceed with authority instead of just going straight away. So basically um, the driver communicated with the Rail Operations Centre asking for permission and was told what track to shunt to as we did have to do a little bit of shunting due to apparently a bit of a issue with one of the train tracks up ahead.
Yes, you will be. Yeah. And as you can see, the points have now been locked in place. Now the audio has been muted as again I am not able to share the communications between the rock but basically what is happening is this signal to the left just here is currently I believe out of order so it will always display red so we needed permission to cross through the signal a bit up ahead towards the goods line junctions and the depot area. <laughs> It's now time for a quick tea break before we head off on our journey through the city. I'll just quickly pause it here as, as you can see on this Waratah just here to the left, on the indicator screen it actually says Riverston and I was a bit confused why it had Riverston even though it should be headed to Richmond. That's then when I found out that afternoon that uh, this happened. So we are now reversing back to a siding located just between Granville and Harris Park, kind of near the Wirelink section of the train line so uh, here's a sped up video of us heading reversing towards that section
Then after waiting about 10 minutes, this is now where we began our journey towards Central and on through the Harbour Bridge towards Waverton. Now coming past Flemington Maintenance Centre, um, to the left just there, and on the top right of the screen is a link to my video on the Flemington Maintenance Centre as I did visit there.
So what I'll be doing just now is, so the video doesn't become too long, what I'll be doing is from now on, I'll just flash to each clip of us passing all the stations on our way towards Redfern slash Central. We are now in our approach into Central, that Central Terminal just there, where upcoming later in the video, not just now, but a little later, you'll actually see a new Inter City Fleet train stored in the sidings at Central Terminal, which we'll then see when we come back in to go around the City Circle. So this is where we now head towards the Harbour Bridge and through to Waverton at the Shunt Neck there. We then quickly turn back around and return through um, the Underground City Line towards McDonald Town Yard. Then we reverse and head back through the city circle via the air, um, via the way that normally the T3 and T8 line trains use. So then after that, the video will slowly come towards an end. So this is now when we are passing through Central Station on Platform 16, and we are conveniently stuck directly behind another suburban train ahead of us. Little green one down the bottom. Yep. 
you're saying you're trying to go through the mixing. Ah, okay. Um, so basically, so you've got another four-on section to go through. Oh, okay. So basically, the top one tells you what the road ahead is, yeah. and the bottom one tells you what the road after that is, so between ah, the next okay. signal and the next signal. Ah, okay, alright. So the green is what's in between the two reds now? Exactly. Yeah, well that's saying it's safe to go at a portion yeah. and reduce the to the next one. So now I'm saying that he's right, it's clear, but the next signal's have stopped. Ah, okay. So that makes sure that, so when he's going up there, he, he knows that what, not to go too quick because the next signal's have stopped. So these are the guardrails, and yeah. so basically inside here, you'll get this all the way through the underground. Um, basically that is, so uh, again, if we do rail, we don't, yeah. hopefully not hit the wall.
So we are now pulling into the Waverton shunt neck where we will then reverse and head back the same way we went before towards McDonald Town Yard. So just here is a little time lapse of our approach into Winyard Station. So uh, yeah, we are now at McDonald Town Yard. I decided to take the camera down um, and just enjoy the journey for a little bit. I was also able to have a go at the um, controls for a little bit as well. So yeah, that's McDonald Town Yard just there. This is now when we are heading back towards uh, the city circle and when we have a special appearance by a rather ancient D set.
Coming up just now to the right is actually where you can see the old ghost tunnels at St James Station and for a little second which I'll try and pause at then you can actually see part of the platform which is incredible to see. This is then where we unfortunately reached the point of our journey where we had to disembark from the train at Central Station after going around the city circle. Definitely was a great fun day, um, probably one of my favourite experiences so far, um, with the guard obviously being one of the best. But um, yeah, the train crew were really nice, a shout out to the train crew if you guys are watching, thank you all for such an amazing experience on these trains. And uh, yeah, it is pretty cool to see um, these trains behind the scenes and what they actually look like and what the whole purpose of them is. So uh, yeah, so um, 
This is then where we had the train departing Central Station, which I'll stop, say, talking just now, as uh, I was able to get a little toot from Rob the driver. At the time of hearing that announcement, I did find it kind of confusing how there was literally no one on Platform 22 and they were asking people to stand behind the other line, whether they may have been talking about me, but then also I was not standing over the other line, but uh, anyway, so um, this is now where we unfortunately have to wrap up this video. I'll end the video with a little uh, clip at, um, when they were saying that they were going to come past Central Station Platform 24, I believe, towards Bondi Junction, and uh, we actually forgot to give them our vests, so... Uh, we were able to quickly get them to stop at Central Station, which is, they stopped quite quickly, so I wouldn't be surprised if they actually used the emergency brakes. But, um, yes, that will finish off the video. But uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you to Eleni, as usual, for making this experience possible. And thank you to the incredible sta um, staff on board the train. And um, I look forward to hopefully doing some future experiences um, sometime upcoming this year in 2024. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.